Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of our Unity Game Development for Complete Beginner series. This is the first episode of the series and in, in this episode I will show you how to set up Unity in your computer with complete guidance about all the components needed. All the download links will be available in the description. If you already have set up your Unity editor then you may skip to the next video. If not, I will move along the whole process of installing and setting up the Unity editor before starting working on it. So let's get started. First of all, we will need Unity Hub. So go to Google and type Unity Hub and open the first link. Click on Download Unity Hub. Run the setup. Click on Agree. Set a location to save it. Click on install and wait for it to install. Finish it and you can see Unity Hub icon on your computer screen. Open it. To activate the license, click on manage activation and create an account to get a free license for personal use. Or if you already have an account, log into your existing account. Now press this back button and it will bring us to our Unity Hub. The Unity Hub is a standalone application that streamlines the way you find, download and manage your Unity projects and installations. In addition, you can manually add versions of Unity Editor that you have already installed on your machine to your hub. In simple words, Unity Hub is a place where you can manage all of your projects and different Unity versions. In order to work in Unity, we need to install a Unity version. Currently, there is no version installed. To install a version, click on Installs. Click on add and it will show you all the available versions for Unity to download. After every few months, Unity releases a new version with latest features, but it's a good practice to use a little old version because the latest might have unresolved issues. A Unity release comes in three forms, Alpha, Beta and LTS. Alphas offer you even earlier access to new features and improvements of upcoming major releases than beta. Similar to betas, you will be able to influence the development process by submitting bug reports and providing Unity with feedback. LTS stands for long-term support. LTS is that there is extended support, so you can receive Unity fixes for a longer period of time without having to upgrade Unity versions. Whereas if a release has F sign with it, it means it is the final one. So make sure to download only final releases. Here we have a few Unity versions, but I am looking for Unity 2019.2 release, which is not available here. So for that purpose, I will go to Unity Download Archive. Click here. It will take you to the Unity Download Archive. Click on Unity 2019 and scroll down until you find Unity 2019.2.0. Now click on Unity Hub and open it Unity Hub. Now from here if you're downloading Unity for the first time and you don't have Visual Studio installed on your computer, we will install Visual Studio with it as well. Visual Studio is the script editing software in which we will write all of our code. If you install Visual Studio separately on Windows, make sure you install the Unity support from the Visual Studio installer. Now click on Microsoft Visual Studio. Along with that, we will select the devices that we are making our games for. You can select Android, iOS and any of the other devices you want. But keep in mind this process of downloading takes a long time so select fewer items right now and you can come back and add other items later on. So I'm currently selecting Android build support. Make sure this Android SDK and OpenJDK are also selected. Other than that, we will select documentation. Now you can see it will require a large space on your disk so make sure your disk has enough space. After that, click on install. This is a long and time consuming process. It will take time depending on your internet speed. The version will be installed after this blue line will reach the end. Now you can see the version is installed. You can install multiple versions of Unity releases. Now search for Microsoft Visual Studio Installer on PC and double click to open it. Click on Modify or Install next to the versions you want to use. So 
check the box of game development with Unity. You can install while downloading or you can just click and install. Now to create a new project, go to projects, click on new and select a Unity version to create a project with. As you have only one version installed, you can see only one version. I will select 2019.2 to create my project. Give a name to your new project and select a location to store it on your disk. I recommend saving it on a separate folder, just specify for Unity. Here you can select either 2D or 3D project, but we can always change it later on. And click on create. Wait for it to open. And this is the Unity editor. So this is how we install Unity into our computer. That was all for this episode. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.